Good morning everyone. I am Jay Suresh Kumar, working as Assistant Professor, Department of English, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangur. Today we are going to see English for Employability Paper, Semester 5, Unit 3. Topics covered in the Unit 3 are Purpose of Writing, Writing an Introduction, Writing a Conclusion, Writing a Film and Book Reviews, Common Errors in Writing and Editing and Proofreading. The Purpose of Reading Purpose of writing, you well know about the purpose of reading, the words both of lot difference. First, we are going to see the purpose of writing. There are four purposes of writers used for writing. When someone communicates an idea in writing, they usually do to express themselves, inform their reader and pursue the reader to create a literary work or to entertain, to express yourself, to pursue, to inform. These are the various purposes. First, we are using the writing form. Agreement between the persons, uh, groups and nations, it's also a type of a writing. And concurrence in attitudes and feelings, the purpose of writing or main usage in agreements and concurrence. The general idea of the concur in the verb must agree in the subject in the number of number and person. Next topic, writing and introduction. An introduction for an essay or research paper is the first paragraph which explains the topic and prepares the reader for the rest of the work because it is a responsible for both a reader's first impression and setting the stage, the rest of the work, introduction, paper, paragraph and arguably the most important paragraph in the work. The, it is a hook to capture the reader's attention. The introduction of the first paragraph. The background of the context. It entirely describes about the background of the context and it gives a clearly defined thesis statement or main point of view of paper. There are the three types of introductions, a opening statement, a supporting sentence and the introductory to the topic sentences. These are the major point in the introductions. Next, a writing and conclusion. The writing and conclusion is also an important part of the essays because it's entirely sum up what you have said in the past three to four pages. The good conclusion is an example is one by the points that were given in a main body of the essay are summarized, expressed in clear but compelling way. A good conclusion should give a reader a feeling of closer and a complete understanding about what they have read. There are the three points of conclusion are recitate your thesis, synthesis or summarize your major points and make the context of your argument clear. A writing a film and book reviews, steps to write a, a more review the watching the film at least at the once, then only you can able to write a film review. Express your opinions and support your criticisms. Consider your audience. Now talk about the acting, whether the way of the acting, and call out the directors, cinematographers, and special effects. You can your criticism cannot maybe as a spoiler to the film. Study the professional and re read and rewrite and edit your criticisms of the book review, both the film review also. The book review is a little difference between the film review. Review the focus of the author, genre, the book, a theme, the storyline, etc. The movie review, we will review the director of the cast, storyline, theme, music and direction, etc. The common errors in the writing. Some of the most common errors in the student writing on the sentence are levels of errors, punctuation errors and word choice errors. There are too many arguments your professors always tell you to defend the thesis and strong arguments and plagiarism. Confusing introduction and conclusion, neglecting the professor's instructions. Failing to recognize the need of an essay and writing help. The editing and proofreading is a final topic. The editing begins while you are still working, you are in the first draft. It has to do more and revising the logistics of the paper than the grammar and surface level of the errors. The proofreading takes place when the editing is finished. The focus on the surface level of the error like a misspelling and a grammar errors. It's a proofreading. So the final correction of the thesis of the paper. The editing strategies focus on the making your text more affordably on the assessing the clarity, style, citations while proofreading strategies focus on eliminating the errors and mistakes in the grammar, punctuation, spellings and grammaticalities.